Hey guys, Carl Spreedies here. How are you going? Welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me. Um, in this video, I wanted to kind of express uh, how cold it was in Ireland when I was there. I, um, I was in a trip in Ireland. I spent actually a good three, four months in Ireland um, when I was about 18. And then I, uh, I was actually, uh, when I was younger, around eight, um, five to eight, I spent two years in Ireland, went to school in Ireland, uh, lived in Ireland. Um, so I, I knew it was a bit cold, but um, yeah, I went back there uh, years later, um, early years of my life, and uh, stayed uh, stayed with uh, my yeah, stayed with my stepdad um, on the west coast of Ireland, uh, and it was very cold. And uh, he had these these brilliant ideas. Um, I'll show you here. He had some of these brilliant ideas to kind of. Um, show me the uh the coast of ireland and get me involved in the ocean so look over here um and there is me there's me just taking a big bomber a big time no 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 guys no 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 that's not me let me take these uh goggles off because that's pretty brutal <laughs> now i can see a little better just thought i'd do something uh different for that video just wanted to you know have a little bit of fun um you know, the, this is the sort of attire that you would wear in Ireland, especially the west coast of Ireland. Um, and yeah, I uh, wanted to share a bit of the story of me traveling there and, and uh, going surfing and embracing the ocean, embracing the cold. Um, on the east coast of Ireland, Ward had a uh, nice little, little unit, beautiful, you know, nice and cozy, beautiful little spot. On the west coast um, is where he built built the house, and uh, it's brutal. It's cold. It's windy. It's unforgiving, um, and your only friends are cows, really. Um, and this is Eski, so the town of Eski. So Eski town, you've got the surf break Eski left and Eski right. And quite, uh, quite interesting thing about um, Eski is that you get surfers uh, from around the world who come for that break. I think they come because it's so secluded. I think they come just because, um, you know, it's something different. You're surfing off the coast of Ireland. Your crowds are cows, um, beautiful, luscious green farmlands uh, and lovely little town pubs that serve Guinness, which is just, it's amazing. Cream in a cup. Just imagine cream in a cup. Um, and the Guinness in the towns, it's much nicer because um, the pipes are cleaned much more regularly. Uh, as I've been told, and so it's much nicer than the city. Uh, no offense, Dublin, um, but the city Guinness. So, yeah, I, I guess that's why they come. Um, I really couldn't work out any other reason. I mean, look at this place; it just looks cold. It makes me, it makes me chilly just looking at it. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share a bit of the inspiring story of going to Ireland, braving the elements, braving the weather, and um, you know, and and coming out, coming out alive coming out the other side and uh, coming out the other side with some stories, some great experiences. Now, we'll tell, I will share with you, if anyone's going over there, wetsuits. If you're going to go swimming, you're going to go in the ocean, wetsuits, all right? Now, not these kind of wetsuits with, you know, the short arms and, you know, little, little around your knees, you know, get your, let your knees show. No, 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 no. The wetsuits you have, full body, the whole deal. You want to cover everything. You have booties because of the the rough. The, you know, you're not going out surfing on beach breaks. You're going out on. Let me show you. Let me show you here on these images. You're going out on rough terrain. Look at that. Look at that. This is what you're going out on. Those those sort of jaggedy rocks. You know that you get your foot stuck in as you're going out. The surf comes right up, up all over the over here, and the high tide and the water comes over. And as you're going out for a little surf, your foot gets stuck in there. You know, who knows? You might break a knee. That's uh, break a knee. That's break a knee. That's Ireland, West Coast of Ireland. That's that's the motto. But um, yeah, you want booties for your feet, and you want a full head um, uh, wetsuit. And even when you duck dive under the waves, guys, I'm telling you, mate, when you duck dive under those waves, um, you know, look, look, it looks all pretty. You got the little sheep. You've got the farmland. A little bit of a river. It looks gorgeous. When you get in the water, it's something else. 
And when you duck dive, instant migraine. It's that cold. Um, maybe I'm being a wuss. Maybe people in Ireland, Scotland, um, cold, cold parts of the world are going to laugh at me complaining about uh, how cold it was on that coast. But um, it was freezing. But, you know, this is where I started getting into photography when I started really taking some, you know, photographs and getting out there. And I don't know why I was getting out there taking photographs all the time, but I just had this sort of burning desire, this passion. Um, you know, this guy was out in big, big surf and, um, yeah, I felt sorry for him. Look at that. Just just getting absolutely clobbered by the, uh, by the elements. Um, and then, you know, that's Ward there. That's me with the little hat on. You can see I obviously have a I have a thing for funny attire, um, and yeah, that's us after a hard day's work on the house, just fixing bits and pieces up. We got the painter there as well, and there's a musician because uh, in Dublin everyone's a musician. Um, very very talented musical culture, and yeah, Ward's just cooked us a nice 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 meal, beautiful cook, um, brilliant beautiful food, and yeah. We were able to enjoy it uh, in his lovely, um, beautiful part of the world. There's some. There's one of the wetsuits drying up, uh, you know, and then one of the wetsuits drying up there. And, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Look at this beautiful land. I mean, that just reminds me of, you know, I don't know if there's any Lord of the Rings fans out there, but this beautiful sunset, the ponds, you know, you can just kind of see out in, in the yonder it's Gollum and Frodo, are they, are they out there somewhere? Just beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Um, lovely locations. A lot of this was marshland, so it wasn't in, um, habit, habitable. Um, you couldn't inhabit, sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, just, just you know, the British actual um, for, forces, the British that c came over, they didn't even mess with the Irish in these areas because of the marshland. They didn't even mess... That even they, the British that came over, they didn't even mess with the Irish in the, these marshlands just because there was just so much marshland that would just, you know, take apart the horses. You can hear the dogs outside and take apart the dogs as well. Um, it, it was just not, you know, you, you couldn't get through it. Um, this is the beautiful scenery, you know, lovely sort of clouds, lovely sunset. Um, and you know this is the castle that's Eski Eski Castle. You have bonfires out there, um, you know parties parties out in the open bushes, and yeah, beautiful part of the world. Um, you know to get to see some of these shots, some of these locations, you can see a photographer out there in, in, in the in the um, in the distance in the yonder. But to get to some of these locations, um, you know you had to uh, either go on the long way. To get to some of these locations, um, to get to some of these locations, you actually had to either go around, drive around the long way, um, or you had to kind of go through farmland. And one one of the stories I was going through this farmland, um, and I was going, you know, over the over the you know the stone because it was stone fencing. That's what they use to fence. They don't use your fence; they use stone. I was going over the farmland and. All of a sudden, like bees to honey, all these, um, you know, cows, sheep, horses just start to come towards me. And I thought, <laughs> geez, maybe I had a lot of fear back then because I was fearful of the cold, fearful of the elements. And I was even fearful that um, I'd, I'd be uh, on the tombstone taken out by a cow, you know, because these cows were coming right up near me. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they were stepping on my toes they were, <laughs> I was going, no beef, no beef, buddy. And they were stepping on my toes. They were, they, they meant business. They really wanted to suss me out. And I was terrified. That was the last time I walked through the farms to get to the coast and take photographs of the surfers because <laughs> there was some gangster cows out there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my uh, little, little spiel, little journey throughout Ireland. Beautiful coastline. Um, not beautiful to get in, beautiful to observe and really lovely part of the world so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that um click the like button share subscribe let me know you know are there other colder places places in the world have you surfed in i know people have surfed in you know um i, I think greenland um you know you can surf in antarctica 
all these cold places, let me know what's the coldest place you've surfed at or the coldest place you've been to. Um, and leave a comment down below. You know, if you want to say, come on, Kyle, your Wuss Island's not that cold, go there, you damn self. Um, but yeah, look forward to uh, us, you know, seeing you guys soon. And uh, yeah, keep loving, keep uh, loving the channel. And I'm going to keep pumping these videos out of the travel places I've been to and just share those beautiful stories because uh, travel really is such a beautiful thing. Awesome, guys. Appreciate uh, you joining me again. And I will see you soon. Thank you.